Hello and welcome to episode five of the Whimsy North podcast. I'm Margaret with Whimsy North. I am the knitwear designer and overall creative behind uh, what you see for Whimsy North. And today I'm going to share with you some of my most recent patterns that have come out since the last episode, as well as some new patterns that are coming out in November and a few other sneak peeks and design ideas that are coming up for fall. The first pattern that I released since the last podcast is my Kindra hat. And sadly, I don't have any of my samples here right now. My um, hat that was a sample for myself is with Katie from Summer Camp Fibers. She was the one who provided yarn support for that pattern and that I collaborated with. She has that hat as she took it to Cake Palooza in, at Rhinebeck. And then she's also going to be taking it to the New England um, Fiber Festival at the beginning of November. So I will pop a photo in for you to see of that hat. That one is released on my Ravelry and Etsy page. It's a super fun pattern that comes in sizes for the whole family. My uh, middle daughter, she has one as well, and she has it at school actually, because she's been wearing it a few days when it's been chilly here in Wisconsin. So I can't show you that one either, but I do have photos of it, and I've shared it in previous podcasts as well. So if you wanna see more of that, you can go back to episode four. And so that is my Kindra hat. That also is a sister pattern to my Kindra cowl, which has been one of my most popular patterns this year. Um, that one has the overall color work and then another contrasting color on it. So with a fun twist, that is my um, Kindra hat and Kindra cowl. I loved that pattern so much that I had the idea to kind of spin it into something else too. So if you wait till the end, you'll get to see a sneak peek of one of my newest designs that will be coming out, I'm hoping, either before Thanksgiving when baby number four is due or maybe right afterwards. So we'll see how fast we can get that one out to you. That'll be a really fun Christmas gift. I'm thinking stocking stuffer for the holidays um, if you celebrate Christmas. Okay, so then my next pattern that came out after the Kindra hat was my Jubilation cowl. This one, I have it folded. This cowl is a pattern with knit picks. I uh, published or I submitted this design a few months ago, maybe nine months ago, and they really wanted something for their scrappy knits collection. They have a new ebook and hard copy book and then you can also on their website buy the individual pattern. So if you've watched some of my other podcasts, you know that this year, I think this is my third Knit Picks pattern that I've submitted. I did a sock pattern back in March and then a lace um, vest, long vest in the summer. And then this is for the fall. They wanted something in fun bright colors and when I was brainstorming what to design or possibly submit for this design, I thought about one of my favorite Christmas movies, which is The Grinch. Um, I don't know if anyone else loves that movie. My favorite version is the one with Jim Carrey. He's just so funny. Um, and I love all of the costumes and everything about it. So when I was thinking about The Grinch, I had the idea of, all of the Christmas lights that decorate Whoville and their jubilation uh, celebration that they have to celebrate Christmas. So this cowl is named after the jubilation and you can see it has this beautiful loop stitch that is actually very easy to knit. It knits over two different rows and you use different colors throughout. And I thought it really represented the Christmas light look across the cowl. So this one is knit in their Snuggle Puff yarn, which is this super soft cotton blend. 
It is wonderful for baby knits too because it's cotton and not um, a natural, or not a natural, uh, not a wool. So it's really soft. It knits up really quick on size US 9 or 10 needles. I'm trying to remember what the pattern says. Um, and it is really soft and snuggly. It has this great drape to it. So that would make a really fun um, Christmas gift or stocking stuffer for someone. You can find this pattern exclusively on knitpicks.com or uh, you can buy it as part of the Scrappy Knits ebook or you can order the hard copy book as well. So let me know what you guys think about this one and if I should do some more um, designs for knit picks in the future. So I'll put that in here. Okay, then I have one more release that happened since the last time I did a podcast. And if you remember from my last podcast, I've decided to do about once a month because that'll give me a chance to have a couple designs come out that I can share with you. And uh, instead of doing it every other week, which was my original thought, where maybe would only have one desi new design to share. So uh, since the last podcast, I also have my Lumia slippers that came out. These are super fun color work slippers, like a slipper sock uh, that knit up in worsted weight yarn. So they are actually pretty quick. They come in two different sizes, a small medium and medium large. And really the only difference is the length of the toe. So this is knit from the, starts on the cuff on the top. And then you have the color work chart that you knit around in the round. And then you use an afterthought heel. I've decided that that's still my favorite heel to work. I just, with color work, really love the afterthought heel where I can continue knitting straight through and then add the heel in later. So you put waist yarn in to mark where the heel is and then you continue knitting the front chart and the sole chart, which is just a very easy bare aisle, and then the snowflake on the front with the edging around the sides. Then you go back in and add the heel, and there you go. So these are my Lumia slippers. They are named after the um, word Lumi, which is Finnish for snow. And I just thought it was a very pretty girl's name, Lumia. Um, if you follow along with me, you'll know that I am terrible at naming patterns. So I decided that my patterns will now be named after girl names, just to make it easy. I feel like my brand is very girly, although I am working on some stuff for boys and um, men because it is fun to knit for them too. And I have a son who never gets any knitted for him. So I am hoping to incorporate um, some more gender neutral colors. Um, all my patterns you can knit. Obviously they're gender neutral patterns. So you just pick different colors than me. You don't have to knit everything in pink. Um, so yeah, so those are my Lumia slippers. You can grab them on Ravelry or Etsy. They are out right now. So let me know what colors you would choose. And Summer Camp Fibers also has kits available for these too with some really fun bright colors. If you're interested in some bright color knits, check those out. I will put a link in the description below. Okay, I had to grab something, fell down. Okay, so coming up in the next, uh, so November 4th, so a couple weeks, my next pattern to be released is my Mila sock. So these are my Mila socks and I um, decided to, I loved my Mila sweater so much. If you look back on previous podcasts, my Mila sweater was one of my favorite knits that I designed over the past year. It is just so much fun mixing the color work at the top with the pattern in the bottom that I thought maybe not everyone would want to knit an entire sweater. Um, maybe a sock would be a little bit quicker to knit and have a finished object. So I made them into a sock and I switched up the colors a little bit. You'll know my Mila sweater has more of this color palette with like the mustardy yellow. 
So I added purple instead to switch it up, but also use some of the same colors as my original Mila in the cuff. So these are currently being tested. They are again knit from the cuff down. So you start here, knit in the round. There is sizes for adults. There's small, medium, large, and extra large. A different chart for each one. Again, an afterthought heel. So you do put a waist yarn in for the heel and then come back and knit that later. And then you knit down to the toe. So they're knit in the round. It's actually a pretty easy, quick and easy, I would say um, intermediate knitting because it's a sock and because of all the color work. So you have to be able to read a chart and um, do the afterthought heel and then graft the heel and the toe together. I do have some video tutorials in the pattern on that. So this will be coming out soon. I can't wait to see what everyone's colors are. My test knitters are already doing such an amazing job with mixing different colors in with the pattern. So check out my Instagram. I always am sharing their colors. If you're interested in color inspiration for my Mila socks. The next set of patterns to come out and they don't have an, a definite date yet, kind of still working on that, is my Betty headband and cowl, which again, I don't have the samples for because Katie with Summer Camp Fibers is bringing them to New England um, Sheep and Wool Festival. And she also had them at Cake Palooza in Rhinebeck because she is the beautiful dyer behind the collaboration and yarn for my Betty uh, headband and cowl. And I will pop a picture in for you because this is one of my most favorite patterns that I have done this year. I, prior to sending the cowl sample over to Katie, I was wearing it all the time and I have a feeling that it's gonna be one of my favorites. I think the colors mixed together with the pattern is just such a fun, whimsical, uh, Nordic looking knit. It is definitely a whimsy North knit. So that pattern originally was only out as an exclusive kit that you could get through summer camp with the yarn and the pattern. We will be releasing the patterns separately, um, the headband and the cowl, so that if you um, want to use some of your own yarn, you can do that and you can just buy the pattern alone. Katie actually will be relaunching some of the kits for you if you missed out on that. So be on the lookout. I'm thinking beginning of November, we talked about right around New England Sheep and Wool of releasing it. That is the same day as my Mila socks. So it might be right around there, the beginning of November. So be on the lookout for that pattern. It is so fun. And some of the other people that are already knitting it from getting the kit, I am loving watching what they are creating. So be on the lookout for the Betty. Betty is coming. Um, Betty was inspired by an 80s ski party was Katie's inspiration for that. So I felt like the pattern was very ski vibe and the colors are more bright and colorful and therefore we thought that Betty would be a fun name for the pattern. So that's where the name comes from. Okay. This is gonna be a really short podcast because I don't have really a t I mean, I have a lot of patterns to share, but I don't have a lot of other information that's going on quite yet. There's some fun things that are happening for the holidays that I'll be sharing um, once they get announced. But this is time for my sneak peek pattern. This pattern I am super excited for. I had the idea to make them when I was doing school drop off for my daughters and my littlest said, mom, my hands are cold during recess. I need some mittens. So there you go. I decided that we really needed a mitten pattern to come out. And of course it has to be in all sizes. That's uh, one of the new things that I'm trying is to try and make sure that a lot of my patterns are coming out in sizes for the whole family, just because I love knitting for my kids and for myself and having coordinated uh, knits. This is actually my Candlewood Cardi. That is one of my favorites that I designed a couple years ago and it comes in all sizes for the whole family. So my daughter has a pink one that is kind of like the same colors, but um, 
mixed and matched throughout. So she is a pink one and it's actually too small. So now we can save it for the baby. She can wear it. So without further ado, using summer camp fibers because Katie and I have been having so much fun collaborating with her pops of color yarn and my designs, I have my Kindra mittens. So I use the same Kindra looking chart, um, inspired chart, I should say, to design these mittens. So this is the child eight to 12 year old size. This is my 10 year olds. She picked out this beautiful cherry bourbon smash pink along with the neon yellow. And you can find these colors on summercampfibers.com. They are part of her counselor's happy hour. So they are out and available if you want to grab these yarn colors. So here's her mittens. And then my littlest, so I had both my girls choose which colors that they wanted. My littlest chose pink and blue. So you can kind of see. So this is the size two to six, I believe. Two years to six years. And my littlest is four. The size two to six. And then I'll show you, I'm working on one for, this was something I was working on this morning. So this is the little baby one. This is for baby number four. She is coming around Thanksgiving time. So the baby mittens will not have a thumb. It'll just be a little straight mitten. So she'll be able to match her sisters with these fun bright colors. And then of course I'm gonna need to make a pair for myself. So be on the lookout. This pattern, as I said, I'm hoping to maybe have it out before Black Friday so that you can spend Thanksgiving weekend knitting up some mittens for your family, friends, stocking stuffers. They are done in a DK weight yarn. So they are um, lightweight, but super cozy because they are color work throughout. So let me know what you guys think about my Kindra mittens and be on the lookout for that pattern and the yarn suggestions. And I'm sure that Katie with Summer Camp will be putting together some kits so if you want to get your hands on any of the exact color combinations that my girls have picked out or any of the other ones that Katie puts together, they are just so fun. I'm like a mitten knitting freak these days. <laughs> okay, so those are the released patterns that I have, some of the upcoming patterns that I have coming out. And then baby is due right around Thanksgiving. So I don't have anything fully planned for after that. I have a lot of ideas, things that I'm working on. Um, there's some sweater designs that I have in mind that I'm working on. And again, wanting to add in baby and kid sizes for those because I'm having so much fun knitting little baby things like my baby Kindra hat and then these little baby Kindra mittens and sweaters. So. Let me know what you guys are interested in knitting these days. I don't know, I know not everyone's a sock knitter, maybe not everyone's a mitten knitter. Um, you know, are shawls, cowls, sweaters? What are you looking for? What's something that I can design for you that would be something fun? So in the meantime, thank you for watching and I hope that you're having some fun with your knitting because that's what um, knitting should all be about and make sure to subscribe to my channel. Go check out some of my patterns. You can find other tutorials um, on my YouTube channel as well as my website. And I do have some free patterns on my website too, so feel free to check that out. And if you wanna say hello, come say hi on Instagram or leave a comment below. I love to meet uh, knitters that are interested in the more fun and whimsical uh, color work Nordic knitting. So thanks guys. Mm -hmm.